Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I just wanted to let you know about the new Apple TV streaming device. It's coming out today on November 4th. Um, so just a few minor changes if you're coming from last year's model or uh, yeah, 2022 latest model. Um, not a whole lot of difference on it, but they did add in a couple of things on it. Uh, so to start out, they're going to have a, the, the base storage capacity is now going to be 64 gigs instead of 32. So that base model is going to start at 129. Uh, it comes with 64 gigs. It's wireless only. So you're, if you like to hardwire your internet on that, skip that base model. Um, the next one up is going to be the 128 gigabyte storage. And that one's going to have a one uh, gigabit uh, ethernet port on it. So if you do want to go hardwired on it, make sure you jump for that 128 gig storage. And I believe that one, let me pull that up. I want to say is starting at, yeah, it looks like 149, uh, 149 is the price on that 128 gig. Uh, with Ethernet port on it, 129 is going to be the price on the base model. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, not not a ton going on here that's different. I'd say probably the the biggest things um, they're adding HDR10 plus to this new model. Also on the actual uh, remote itself. So if you have have one of these on your current model here, they they currently use a Lightning port. They're going to go to USB-C on that. Wire is not included in the box, by the way. So if you don't have any USB-C cables laying around, get yourself one of those with your new Apple TV or you won't be able to charge that little remote. Um, these remotes, I, I have the latest model prior to today. This thing lasts forever. So like I'll charge it for an hour or so on my lightning cable. And honestly, I've never, it's never ran out on me. So I don't know how long they go for, but they, they last forever, it seems like anyway. So not a huge deal, but just something I thought I mentioned on there. So buy, buy yourself a USB-C cable if you don't have one. Um, other than that, let's see what else we're going to do. Um, apparently, I guess they've removed the TV branding from the top of the unit. And now it just has an Apple on it. I actually haven't seen this new one in person, but that's something I did read about. Um, pricing's a little bit lower than what, what last year's models would have initially sold for. So if you were to go and buy last year's model at this time, you would be looking at 179 for the base 32 gig, whereas now you can get that base 64 with, uh, for only $129. You are using, losing an ethernet port and, uh, some stuff like that. So kind of, kind of watch that, but, uh, really not a, not a ton of major changes on it, but they are a nice little upgrade. Um, there's a lot of different things that people use. There's the, you know, the Amazon Fire Stick, uh, Roku, Apple TV, tons of stuff built into your television as well. I'm, I'm a fan of the Apple TV. I've had it for a little while now and I've enjoyed it. Uh, it does really well with what I need and it tightly integrates in with everything Apple. So, you know, if you're in that ecosystem, you know how that stuff goes. But anyways, um, I just want to let you guys know that is coming out today. Um, I am not going to be upgrading. Mine's not super old and I it does everything I need. And plus my television does not support HDR 10 plus right now. Anyways, uh, it's just HDR uh, 10, the highest that, that mine will go currently. So, but uh, yeah, if any of you guys get this new one, if you check it out, I'd love to hear if you've noticed any other improvements on it. Um, one thing I did forget to mention, they're giving it the, uh, the A15 chip. So it should be a little speedier going through the menus and things like that. But again, not a huge difference, but I would, uh, again, I'd love to hear it if you guys have any comments on them. If you get one and you like to test it with your old one, let me know how it performs. Hope you have a great day.